Okay, so let's have a look at question 5 from the 2015 National 5 Physics paper. It says a syringe containing air is sealed at one end, right here, as shown. The piston is pushed in slowly. There's no change in the temperature of the air inside the syringe. That's quite an important point, actually, to make here. No change in temperature. That means there's no change in the kinetic energy um, of the particles. If the temperature were to rise, the kinetic energy of the particles would also rise, uh, the, the molecules of air, that is. Uh, so the question is, which of the statements describes uh, and explains the change of air pressure in the syringe? So let's just have a look at the um, options that we have available to us. And then I'll talk through um, the correct answer. And uh, then we'll have a look at which one it is. So when we uh, apply a um, force on this piston, we decrease the volume of air. So the volume of air um, decreases. And so that has an effect on the pressure uh, of the air. And that's because um, with less space for the air molecules to move around, they collide with the walls of the container more frequently. If you imagine a particle in this syringe and it's moving, say, backward and forward, um, and it bouncing off the walls and going back and hitting this wall, keep bouncing back and forward, um, if the distance it has to travel between the piston wall here and this wall um, decreases, then it will hit those walls more frequently. And because it hits the walls more frequently, the air pressure is going to increase. So effectively, that's the reason. It's got nothing to do with um, kinetic energy or the particles speeding up because, uh, as we said, there is no change of temperature. So the pressure increases because the particles hit the walls more often. So let's have a look at our options. Um, the pressure increases because the air particles have more kinetic energy. No, we've just explained that. The pressure increases because the air particles hit the sides of the syringe more frequently. That one, I agree, will be correct. Let's just have a look at the others. Uh, it increases because the air particles hit the sides less frequently. No. Uh, the pressure decreases because the particles hit the sides of the syringe with less force. The only thing that would change the force would be the speed of the particles, and that's not changing. And the pressure decreases because the particles have less kinetic energy, also incorrect. So there we go. Our answer is B.